Kilometre Road, Luton Town in their annual battle for survival against Manchester United in their race for the championship. Luton's approach is to take each crisis as it comes. The escape route now they think is to catch Coventry with four games left. So they've added to their attacking options here, bringing back Scott Oakes to help Imre Varadi and Mick Harford up front. And never has Mick Harford's aggression, leadership and goals been more important to Luton in their hour of need. Manchester United, two changes from the side which beat Southampton on Thursday. A lineup in stark contrast to Luton, a very strong defence, a lot of physically powerful players, a variety of outstanding forwards and tremendous depth of talent. Lee Sharp is in for Andre Kanchelskis here and as a recall for... So it's Manchester United, Wembley winners last week, knowing the destiny of the First Division Championship is in their own hands. Two points clear, a game in hand and they've got five left. Luton, two wins over the last three. For the fourth consecutive year, they're battling to avoid relegation. The referee here is Martin Bodnam, by profession, a guest house owner in Cornwall. Now, here's Imre Varani with uh, Scott Oakes, the young winger brought in to give him a bit of width and a little bit more aggression. The Varani shoots and over it goes. Varani, of course, who started his career at Luton, was rejected as a schoolboy has done the rounds and now on loan from Leeds. Doesn't get too many goals from outside the area, to be fair. But he's uh, added a bit of forward strength. Town, a very good home record for a side right in the depths, but an appalling away record. They've got to do something here at Kenilworth Road. Parker didn't get hold of that one at all. In goes Hartford, beaten by Pallister. Back out again to Pembridge from Priest. It's a good cross, but it's too deep. And Pallister almost puts it into his own net. He didn't need to intercept that one. They're looking a little bit jittery. The best defence in the first division didn't look very happy with that. The driven cross, there was no need for him to go for it, but he sticks out a leg and he nearly causes acute embarrassment. So, and Kamara... Oaks lets it run to Pembridge drives. Oh, he hit the bar. What a great idea from Luton. Mark Pembridge, the player they might well be losing at the end of the season because of financial problems. A beautiful idea. A lovely strike. And the goalkeeper really did. Kamara. Priest. Harford. And just intercepted by Pallister. Picked up by Richard Harvey against Webb. Harford again. Turning it for Imre Varadi. Again, just whistling over the bar. And Kamara and other players going to the referee and saying that the goalkeeper cuts that. Well, did he? Certainly a good drive. Always on the up. Was that a deflection? The referee's given a goal kick. And away goes Hughes. He's away from peak. Hughes with the effort, Ryan Giggs can't quite get there, a stumble in the loop. Trevor Peake looking for Mick Harford, is it strong enough? It isn't. Kamara again. Under pressure from Webb, appeals for handball, looks a bit like it from here, I must say. Oaks. Oaks going, sharp chasing him, can he get a good crossing? Great play. Oaks with a cross, Harford, Harford again, two attempts there, first of all by Varadi, then by Harford, and Manchester United survive, just Harvey against Ryan Giggs, and it's Giggs, the tackler, against uh, Full. Harford getting in there, away by Phelan, Julian James, and no offside, area. Brilliant bit of play by Scott Oakes. Imre Varadi didn't get it cleanly. And Harford's shot was beaten down before Manchester United. Peak with Hughes. Oh, and a nice little touch on when he was falling in. Sharp with a chance to score here. And he does it. A fortunate break for Manchester United when Peak stumbled again. Great bit of play to put Sharp through. And... He scores his first league goal of the season. Well, would you believe it? Luton doing most of the attacking. Sharp gets a little knock through. 
finishes beautifully. Push a little bit in the first 20 minutes. Sharp finds Webb. Chipped in for Hughes. Holds off his man well. And wins a corner. Bruce gets up here. Well blocked by the goalkeeper, but really, that was a half an opening for Manchester. Bruce again knocks it back. It's a good one. It's away by Harvey. Bruce keeps it in. So dangerous at these set pieces. Sharp. McClare. McClare's still there. Hughes hits the post. Great strength from the two Manchester United players. Claire does well, then Hughes keeps going and stabs it against the post. It's a hard one for Pembridge, very tight. Back to Priest, try to get it into Mick Harper, up he goes. It's the bar, Harper! Mick Harper puts Luton Town back in it. The head waiter at the far post shows what tremendous aerial ability he has. Equalise six minutes into the second half. David Priest is cross, picking out Harper. Irwin can't get up, but that's a real power header. He beats the goalkeeper, and the bar saves it, but he's back in there quickly to pinch it. And it's 1 1. Giggs again. Fast his man. And there's Mark Hughes. Knocked it back across the face of the goal when it might have been easier to knock it straight in. David Plate animated. Can he see salvation? Plotting here, but the important thing is to get the big fellas in over the far side. And a good effort over the bar by John Dreyer. Well, there were two chances would have done, and then Dreyer with the left foot ball. Another substitution for Luton Town as Scott Oakes comes off. The 19-year-old gives way to a 32-year-old, Brian Steen. The old veteran now. Steen needs a bit of help. James has got it. Brian Steen brilliantly done. James. Brian Steen's in here. Good save. Brian Steen couldn't get the rebound. Goalkeeper Schmeichel did brilliantly to get a hand to that. And Michael Phelan cleared gratefully for Manchester United. And Brian McClare, what a great bit of work, finds Kanchelskis. He's fresh, he's got the speed. Pembridge is trying to close him down. But here's McClare. And trying to put it into the path of Sharp. And goalkeeper Alex Chamberlain did a great job. Leaps with Pallister in a great contest. Webb with a hard game for him. The final whistle. Harper the equaliser with a great header and a rebound, putting Luton back in the game after Lee Sharp had given Manchester United the edge in the first half. A game of real passion and fire. Luton Town showing they're not dead and buried yet by any means. A point which is valuable to them, but probably in the end more valuable to Manchester United. The final score, Luton Town 1, Manchester United.